In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create a clean text or a better text object in Blender using the geometry node setup. As you can see here, we have a far better topology or a better geometry for this text object compared to what we usually get in the traditional method. This is particularly helpful when you try to bend the object or when you perform some other operation on this text, like beveling. It works very smoothly without any visual deformation of the text object. So let us start with a blank new file. We'll add here a text object instead of this default cube so we can delete it. But we do need some object to start with the geometry node setup, so let us reuse the cube itself. Now open a separate editor and then change it to geometry node. Press N to hide this side panel and then click on new. So you'll get these two nodes by default. One is the group input and another is the group output node. This group input node gives us the existing geometry of the selected object, but we don't need it. So select this node, right click, and delete it. Then go to the add menu, and under text, add a string to curves node, and place it somewhere over here. This node gives us various options to create a text of our choice. We have to connect this output to our output geometry node. Now, this is where we can enter any text. Let us go with our channel name, 5 minutes blender and hit enter so we get our text created it looks cool but you can further decorate it or change its outlook for example you can change the alignments from here let us change its horizontal alignment to center and vertical alignment to also center you can change the font from here let us go with this font for example and open it we can also change the font size from here let's make it little bigger like this if you want to create a multi-line text, we have discussed it in our next tutorial, the link is given below. Now, we want to also solidify these characters. So go to the Add menu, and under Curve, add a node called Fill Curve, and place it over here. As a result, you can see that the characters are now filled with solid surface, but in the wireframe view mode, we can also see that the geometry is quite complex since we have too many complex edges for each of these sections, so let us rectify this by switching over to this end gone option, in the Fill Curve node. Now you can see that we got a far better topology for our text object, but we can make it even better, by resampling the curve sections. So go to the Add menu, and under Curve, add a resample curve node, and place it in between these two nodes. So Blender will rebuild the curve, while keeping the original shape. You can smooth it out by changing this count value. As you increase this, you will get a better shape that looks very smooth and perfect. Or you can also switch over to this length option and then enter a small value in this length field. Let us enter 0.01. Blender will use this value to recreate each of the splines for this curve object. Now, we would like to create a 3D version of this by extruding the text. So go to the Add menu and under Mesh, add a node called Extrude Mesh, and place it after the fill curve. So we can see that we got a nice 3D text. You can also control its thickness easily, just by changing this offset value. Let us enter point 4, and we get a nice 3D text in the output. However, if you go to the underside, you'll notice that a face is missing, so we need to add a suitable face also to this underside, in order to make it a complete 3D structure. We'll now discuss that part. This fill curve node gives us a mesh output from the curve, which we are extruding here, to get this 3D object. So, we need to add a copy of this fill curve with this extrude mesh, which will give us the complete geometry in the output. So let us go to the Add menu, and under Geometry, add a Join Geometry node, and place right after the extrude mesh. Now we have to bring this and join here, in order to get the complete structure. So let us connect this with the join geometry after the extrude node. We can move it up a little bit to make the nodes clearly visible. Now, we got a face for this object in the underside as well. But the problem with this is, it has got the same normals as that of its front face. But we know that the back face should have its normals flipped for a correct geometry. So we need to flip the face normals for the back face before we join it. We need to flip the normals over here. So go to the Add menu, then go to Mesh, and add a node called Flip Faces, and place it right here. So this face is now getting flipped, and then it is merged with the extrude node, in order to get the complete text object, 
which is cool. But if you go to the wire frame view mode, you'll see that the object has got too many sections, or too many edges, which is not necessary. This number is driven by this resampling node. So one option is to select evaluate it here. And you'll get a much simpler text object in the output, with minimum number of edges, and no deformation in its shape either. We know that it will be easier to handle from a design perspective, if the object has fewer edges and a simple geometry. So let us go with this. Now the last thing is, Blender uses instances for each character that we create in this way, but if we want to do any other operation on this object, say if we want to add a modifier to this text, we have to first convert these instances into real. So in our node setup, let us go to the add menu. Then under instances, add a realize instances node, and add it after the join geometry. And we have to also ensure that there is no duplicate vertices created in this process. So go to the add menu, and under geometry, add a merge by distance node, and place it at the very end, after all other nodes. You can change this distance value as suitable. The text field is now ready, so let us go to the modifiers tab. Let's say you want to add a bevel modifier. We'll change this amount field to 0.02 and the number of segments can be 5. Then expand this geometry section. Here, deselect these two options. And you'll get a nice bevel effect added to your text object. It should be almost perfect, but there may be some small defects, like some of these corners may not have any bevel, they may look very flat. In order to rectify this, we have to go to our geometry node. Now, here in this extrude mesh node, we have to deselect this option called individual. And you'll see that a bevel is now added for these edges. It will rectify some other corners like this as well, but you may get some artifacts like this, or even here. We all are familiar with such issues while beveling any model, but I found an easy solution for this one. In the fill curve node, instead of this endgons, it is better to opt for the triangles. It will remove the simplicity in the geometry that we had, but the bevel effect will render better. So if you are adding a bevel effect to your text, I suggest you to go with this triangle option. And you can also bend this text easily, with a simple deform modifier. As you can see here, there are no artifacts on our text object, and the bending is very smooth. So today we learned how to create a better text like this, using geometry nodes, that has a better internal topology. Next week we'll learn how to create a multi-line text, using this same approach. Finally, this is our complete node setup for this tutorial. You can note it down, and do your own experiments, you'll then learn it better. So I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.